Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. Before I begin this video, I wanted to publicly state that this will be my final weekly video until the week of November 26th. I will be taking a short break from YouTube to focus on family. I do plan to return to public uh, Q&A sessions on November 25th uh, for those who are interested, probably around 12 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, uh, like usual, uh, which is 9 a.m. for the folks in the West Coast and 5 p.m. for the folks in England. I would love to see you all there. Anyhow, you saw the title of this video and you are likely curious uh, where it will be going. Um, I am covering a paper that was published this past October. The sample size was 212 and all subjects were male aged 21 to 36. 88 of those were steroid users and the rest were naturals. The men completed self-reported measures of personality, impulsivity, delayed gratification, and attitudes toward infidelity. The questionnaire was also meant to determine each participant's score on the five main dimensions of personality, known as the Big Five in psychology circles. Those five traits are neuroticism, agreeableness, conscientiousness, extroversion, and openness. What was discovered was that steroid users display an inability to delay gratification, which will likely come as no shock to many of you. They also display greater impulsivity and take a more liberal view toward infidelity. In other words, steroid users are more likely to be unfaithful. They also scored higher on openness and neuroticism than non-users did. Finally, steroid users scored lower on extroversion than non-users. On a side note, openness, or how open-minded a person is, according to an October 2011 study, is tightly linked with voting liberal, whereas greater conscientiousness, or how careful or vigilant a person is, is linked to a higher likelihood of voting conservative. And if you watch my recent video, The Dangerous Truth About Modern Relationships, which I have linked below, you will also learn, via research, that liberal voters are guilty of significantly higher rates of infidelity than conservatives. Infidelity being another trait more often expressed by steroid users compared to non-users, as I had mentioned. Thus, it wouldn't be far-fetched to assume that liberal uh, weight trainers may be more likely to turn to recreational steroid use than their conservative counterparts. The researchers discovered that neuroticism, impulsivity, and the inability to delay gratification are three significant predictors uh, for steroid use. Uh, now, do keep in mind, all of these results are uh, correlative. Um, but the findings are still interesting and provide insights that may help experts identify at-risk individuals which may help treat and prevent recreational steroid use. Longtime followers of my channel uh, know my stance on gear use and how strongly I advocate against steroids unless they're being used for medical purposes and under doctor supervision. So I felt that this video would be a fitting addition to this channel's content. Uh, it is just interesting how personality appears to play a significant role uh, in this matter, uh, though I can't say it's surprising. And for those new to this channel, just search my videos for a myriad in-depth content on the subject, such as well-documented long-term health consequences from steroid use. Anyway, do leave your thoughts and comments below and give this video a like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell button for notifications and to check back here weekly uh, as all three avenues will help ensure that you don't miss any new content from me. Also, check out the video description for links to my products and services as well as affiliate links and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. And your support is especially appreciated considering that this channel is mostly demonetized since I don't bow to political correctness or censorship, but I still put time and effort into the content that I consistently provide you with. And definitely check out my new physique survey tool, which can help put you on the right path for your individual physique and performance goals. And in turn, help you achieve results like those seen with my clients here. No drugs required. That tool is linked below in the description. Do check it out. With that, I want to thank you all for your support. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all again in a couple of weeks.